No carriage, no cavalry for this state opening. Well, it is less than 10 weeks since the last one. But this time, the plans she announces may actually happen. That's because a big majority of these MPs summoned by Black Rod are now Conservative. No wonder Boris Johnson looks so pleased. Jeremy Corbyn, not so much. Once in the Lords, we heard the government's unsurprising priority. My government's priority is to deliver the United Kingdom's departure from the European Union on the 31st of January. My ministers will bring forward legislation to ensure the United Kingdom's exit on that date and to make the most of the opportunities that this brings for all the people of the United Kingdom. As well as the EU withdrawal legislation, the government's promising a law to lock in more spending for the NHS in England, rising to an extra £34 billion a year in five years' time. There's also a law to make violent or sexual offenders serve more of their sentences before automatic release, and a commitment to invest in infrastructure like transport and broadband outside London. And there'll be what he's calling the biggest review of defence, foreign and security policy since the Cold War. Jeremy Corbyn is going, but for now he still has the job of leading the opposition to all this. As this government ploughs ahead with its programme of gimmicks and false promises, we will be holding them to account every step of the way. But he is talking about a blueprint for the next 10 years. I do not think it vainglorious or implausible to say that a new golden age for this United Kingdom is now within reach and, and in spite of the scoffing, in spite of the negativity, in spite of the scepticism that you will hear from the other side, we will work flat out to deliver it. That is a big promise but right now he does have the numbers and he certainly has the ambition.